Hey guys, what's happening? It's Jay coming at you from the Hooch, and we're going to do a quick after action report uh, based off of some of the things that uh, that happened uh, two weekends ago when we went and did our 24 hour um, observation post and RON or remain overnight. And um, some, uh, I, I tried to pick out a few key things of things that worked and a few key things that didn't work so that I can improve myself. And by improving myself, I can learn things and help you guys as well with, with things. And this is a great exercise for you guys too, that anytime, any, anytime you finish up a field exercise, it's extremely important to do some sort of an after action report for yourself. Even if it's just your own, your own personal notes, things that happened, um, things that went well, things that didn't, things that you wish you had, uh, problems that you might've had, maybe it's uh, with gear, maybe site selection, maybe weather, maybe just an overall sense of preparedness, whatever it may be, all right? So this is something that I, I usually do this just in notes and try to, um, you know, decipher it for myself, but this is what helps me out uh, when it comes to finishing up a, a weekend out in the field. So um, after action report, AAR, um, things that I thought that I needed work on, time management. Time management, is, it's, it's a big one for me anyways but time management in the field. I tend to do a good job of getting, of my pre-planning and getting started off okay, but then I have this habit of, I, I want, I, all of a sudden I get in a rush. And when I get in a rush, I start making like, I just start making little errors, little mistakes. Um, whether it's movement that's too quick or maybe jerky or, uh, or, ending up taking the path of least resistance, things like that, uh, all in the sake of time management. So that is definitely something that I need to do a better job on um, from my experience this, last, this uh, two weekends ago. Another one is observation post construction. So I'm, I'm used to setting up for a remain overnight position where in making some sort of a hasty shelter and I'm extremely comfortable in doing so, right? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with just rolling up inside a poncho and a, and a poncho liner or a whoopee and, um, and just leaning up against a tree and having at it or finding a shallow spot and crawling right in. I, uh, I don't have any issues with that. I'm extremely comfortable with it. But when it comes to setting up an observation post, I am realizing now this was my second time out doing this. I need to pay a lot more attention to certain sight lines. I need to pay more attention to camouflaging it. I think I have my base covered for it, but I really need to do a better job of using my natural surroundings to help it better blend in. And um, this is something that actually um, Tom, the prepared pathfinder, I'm sure you guys know him, and um, Russ, who's Viking Mitch on Instagram and uh and a YouTube, he, um, they both pointed out that for like OP construction, that's something that I, I am going to want to put in my kit as a, as a pair, as a uh, pruning shears and a small folding saw just to help with better camouflaging that observation post. Also, the other thing they recommended was chicken wire, chicken wire for helping shape and mold it. I think that, um, there's some good videos out there on that. Um, Viking Mitch has shared a few with me, and they're they're pretty top notch. So, think of those two guys um, who been there, done that. Guys are offering those suggestions. I think that's probably a, probably wise to um, to take take advantage of that advice. So, OP construction for me is a big one that I need to work on. Movement. I'm just still too fast. I'm too jerky, too fast, and that comes back up to time management. That's a direct result of poor time management. Is my movement in the woods. Um, um, I'm becoming more and more aware of that. And I think, um, that's definitely on my short list for things to really start working on it at improving it at least. And then details, small little details of things, guys, like, um, I forgot to wear, wear a watch out in the field. So when I had, when, when I was calling in and then there, we had designated call in times, I, I had to look at my phone, which is a super bad habit to get into, right? So um, some sort of a luminescent uh, handed watch instead of a digital watch um, will, um, will help that a lot. So little details like that. Camouflage in my fingertips. I had fingerless gloves on 
and you see that the one video up there like m my camo really well blended in right but my fingertips stick out like everything else blends in but i noticed my fingertips and um it just just didn't think of it so something like that i um it's not necessarily something that i need to work on but i had broken my tripod a few weeks ago so i did not have a replacement by the time of this so having a working tripod for setting up your monocular on when you're sitting in your observation post that is huge it really is um also just uh paying attention once again details paying attention to details in in, in your surroundings i um i need to do a little bit of a better job of that as well stuff that worked for me my camouflage i was really happy with my camouflage actually that I've been working really hard on that for my area. And uh, and that really, um, that uh, that's, I've, I've been pleased with that. Uh, that effort is paying off for me. Tracking, I'm doing better and better at identifying um, animal signs, human signs uh, out in the woods, uh, whether it be, you know, deer, coyote, raccoons, um, groundhogs, beaver, um, being able to identify all of that while in the woods is, is really a, um, really a big deal. Uh, recently, not too long ago, there was a black bear sighting not too far away. And, um, so that's another, you know, another, uh, another thing to keep an eye out for and to look for. So tracking, I feel, I feel really good on tracking. I feel like I'm doing better and better with that. Comms. I've been working really hard at comms over the last year, and I feel like I'm getting to a point where um, making salute reports, status reports, things like that. I'm still using a cheat sheet for doing it, but um, just to help me with filling it in. But I'm feeling more and more confident in, in what I'm reporting and the detail of it and the accuracy of it and being, being much more sure of myself with talking over the air sustainment. I feel really good with my background in the outdoors. I feel like sustainment wise, I'm really dialed in with the, um, with exactly what I need with, uh, I know what my bare minimums are. I know what my base kit is. I really, um, that's something else. I mean, I've spent a lifetime in experience with that. So I feel good that I have that really, um, really focused in on. So that, um, I think that might be a weak spot for a lot of others, but I feel really good about myself in that. But um, as you guys can see, uh, you know, being able to do this kind of a review after the fact to be able to list what worked for you and then be able to list out what you need work on. Um, it's a um, don't uh, don't be afraid to swallow your pride, guys, when it comes to laying this stuff out and really identifying those things. I know I share a lot. I share a lot of videos and pictures of different outings, and um, that's part of what helps me. And it really helps when I when I started the whole YouTube thing. It was really for myself to help me work through all of this. So to be able to identify things that I need help with, and to be able to identify things with that I'm, I'm doing well with. So don't be afraid to put that stuff out there. If you have a core group of buddies, maybe some been there, done that guys, that you can, um, you know, ask them, hey, do you mind if I send you photos of, you know, my last weekend out? And let me know what you think. Um, I have several trusted guys that I can do that with, and um, they're not afraid to give me their very honest opinion. And um, I um, I don't take it personally. It just, it is what it is. This is, this is how you get better. This is how you improve. So anyways... That is my after action report, guys. Um, I hope you guys learned something from it. I know I, I always do when I go out and do these field exercises. I always learn something from it and take notes on it. And I work on on fixing the things that have gone wrong or things that need work done. I work hard on those things for the next time to see where, where my progression is of improvement. So anyways, that's what I got, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And um, you guys keep getting out there and be good. Talk to you soon. Later.